Is Key West a dog-friendly place? We're about to find out. Yeah, Maya is right down here. I'm Deb, if you don't know me. I'm Joel. And we are chasing our sunshine. And on today, we are gonna find out if Key West is dog-friendly. And hopefully Maya will be friendly. <laughs> Someone's excited. Maya's big adventure in Key West. Hey, help. We're on the seven mile bridge right now. She was just actually looking out the window. It was really cute. But she had enough of the view apparently and now it's nap time. Maya, when you're visiting the Hemingway house, what do you gotta be watch out for? Cats. And what's unique about the cats? They got too many fingers. You worried about them? Okay. Yeah, we got lucky. We got down here to the southernmost point and there isn't a long line. I think we're fifth in line here. Yay! And it's 10.02. Yeah. We're close to get here early so did a little over hour drive, parked and walked straight here. And also I did look and made sure that there wasn't a cruise ship in. Right. Sorry about the loud noise, there's a guy on a motorcycle that stopped in the intersection taking pictures right now too. Um, but we're gonna get our picture taken here. So everything that I've read from Key West is that it's an incredibly walkable city. I did find a free app that's from the state of Florida that gives different towns. We used it in St. Augustine and now we're gonna be using it again in Key West here. We're gonna go see some historic sites. But first, as we just saw the southernmost point, we're actually gonna to head to breakfast. We're going to Blue Heaven. It's supposed to have a nice outdoor seating area, patio, and it's dog friendly. We'll find out. Bloody Mary time. There's supposed to be no one for him, so we're gonna give him a try. Yeah. And unfortunately, Maya is just drinking water. Yep. Sorry, no Bloody Mary for you. We were told to come here by a couple that we actually met. We were at the Isla Morada um, Brewing Company and they told us that this is a must stop while you're in Key West and it's so cool. Yeah, it was a bit of a wait. We got here about 10, 15-ish and it was a 45 minute wait. So it, it was, walked around a little bit, came back and our table was ready. Yep, they serve breakfast until noon and then you can get lunch after noon, otherwise it's breakfast. Right. So I got a egg white sandwich with uh, avocado, tomato, and sausage. And Joel? The rooster special. Two eggs, over easy for me. Potatoes, spicy sausage, and toast. Yum! Oh, We're gonna wow. enjoy this brunch. And I did get a side of grits. Who also loves grits? Let us know in the comments below. Love them. Um, we just had an amazing brunch at Blue Heaven. I would highly recommend it. Yes. It is a little bit pricey, but it is in Key West. Uh, the egg uh, sandwich that I had was great, and the sausage patty was yeah, really good. Everything's well made, so it's awesome. Yeah. Definitely check this out. Super dog friendly. Maya enjoyed it. And you'll see all the roosters you want to see. You probably hear them in the background right now. <laughs> uh, but. This, this was definitely, Maya gives it four paws up for right. this one. So let's see what else we can find to do here in Key West and see if it continues to be dog friendly.
We are standing in front of St. Paul's Episcopal Church here on, right on Duval Street. Yeah, it was actually um, made uh, from one of the first four founders of Key West, and apparently his remains are still somewhere here under the church or on the ground somewhere. No one's really sure where it is, but this is the fourth church um, actually built at this location in 80 years uh, because of storm surges and hurricanes that came through the area. But the fourth church stood and didn't sink into the swamp. <laughs> so I built a third one. That burned down, fell over, then sank into the swamp. But the fourth one stayed up. And that's what you're gonna get, lad. The because it's right here. <laughs> it's right here. It's very pretty. Um, it's a nice walking area. There's some grass that Tamaya found to use to go to the bathroom on. Um, but uh, now we're going to head over and check out the next stop. Maya and I are sitting in front of the Women's Club. They are the original founders of the library and the literature history for Key West. The left of the building is where they used to store all of the library books and to the right was the social club. Behind here now is a red barn where there is theater that's being held here, um, but it used to be the original homeowners place that they stored their cows and other farm animals. Uh, but it's a beautiful old red building and it's a part of the history of Key West and on the free walking tour. Anything else, Maya? You just like sitting in the shade? I think she likes the shade. <laughs> Maya and I are here in front of the oldest house. It was originally built in the 1820s, but expanded in 1829 for a family, for a guy, his wife, and his nine daughters. Can you imagine living here with that many people with no heat and electricity? The kitchen's actually detached and is in the back. We did find out that they have free tours every day except for Sundays, and the day we're here, Wednesday, no tours. So we don't get to go in there, but uh, you'll want to check it out. We just stopped in the smallest bar in Key West. Good thing the beers are the right size. Nope, beers are still the same size, not that small, but it's in the old Custom Inn, um, located here down on Duval Street. And luckily you can walk around with a beer in your hand. Yep, so let's go. Maya even fit in the bar. Dog friendly in there. She even offered Maya some water, but we are carrying our own, so she didn't need any, but super nice. What Maya learned is right behind us is Clinton Square, and it's one of the Civil War uh, monuments. Historians are saying it's the only one that was ever made that actually honors both the North and the South. Isn't that cool? So we kind of did the walking tour backwards. That's all right. So we're sitting in front of the Custom House, which was the original, basically, federal building that held customs, the post office, the courthouse, everything was in this building um, and originally was a wooden structure but then it was now built into a grand red brick, brick building with huge arches that are absolutely gorgeous. Great place to catch some shade. Yeah, so we sat down here, uh, listened to the final tour and it overlooks actually another one. Most of them are very close and this was actually very um, dog friendly to do. Maya enjoyed all of her stops uh, as we sat and listened. Most of them tip across the street from them is where you can stand in the shade and then listen to the information. Um, some of them are about two minutes to listen to and some were like six to eight minutes. Uh, but it was really good information, I thought. Excellent information. A lot of good history and uh, get to know the area. Yeah. 
some of them it's very hard when you have it on your phone speakerphone um, because of especially when you're on Duval Street uh, people drive by and they have very um, loud contraptions on their scooters uh, motorcycles and uh, golf carts <laughs> uh, loud engines and people like to blare the music down here apparently yeah. hard to hear the programming and also hard to video for you guys because of all the noise in the background yeah. and see what else we can find to do now that we're done with our history tour and here's Maya what do you think yeah you approve She, I think she approved. She approves. Maya is giving the hog's breast saloon four paws up. Definitely, gave her water, had a nice little ledge for her to sit on. She got to people watch. Yeah, she was in hog heaven. She was. <laughs> <laughs> so we're down standing at Mallory Square, um, which is where you're supposed to come down for sunset. Um, we're not gonna do that because we're staying up at Curry Hammock State Park currently. Um, and we want to head back. It's an hour and a half drive. I would say it was worth coming down here, yeah. seeing Key West for the first time, um, and enjoying and exploring it. Right. I'm sure the nightlife is something else to see, but we're not going to be here for that. Uh, we're going home before dark. Yeah. Um, and a tip for parking is to come down by the post office and then park on the road as it's $5 an hour compared to $8 an hour in the actual parking lot. And you can also on the street do a max for $40 for the whole day. So if you're going to be here for however long, 10, yep. 12 hours, you better do that here because they didn't give us that option in the parking lot of the post office. Right. And we did get here, like we said, about 930 and there was no one on the street. There was tons of parking spots. It's completely packed now. Yes. <laughs> so um, our advice would be is to come early get here find a parking spot this is a great location yep. um, we were able to walk right down get to the um, point um, get our picture taken went for lunch or brunch and then we're able to hit up the historical walk super easy to Duval Street and Mallory Square and kind of all the restaurants and bars around if you're willing to walk you know five ten minutes no yep. problem we made a mistake too and Joel forgot to put his watch on so we're sure we got over 10,000 steps today. I'm sure of it. So, but just a few tips there for you. I said um, it was wonderful. We had a great day with Maya. We would say that Key West is dog friendly, right. but I would say Key West would be easier if you don't bring your dog with. Yeah, you got to pick and choose where you go to eat and drink if you're going to go to bars. Uh, they're not all dog friendly, but several are. Yeah. It can be done for sure. And why we wanted to bring her was because of the hour and a half drive down here. We didn't want to leave her back in the RV by herself all day. So she got to come down, explore this town with us, and she loved it. She's going to be sleeping for the next three days. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, which is good for us. Yes. Uh, but I think this is where we're going to leave you guys on this video. Do you agree with us? Is Key West dog friendly? Would you bring your dog here? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you're notified when our videos come out. And give us a thumbs up on this video and you know what we're gonna do now. We're gonna roll those bloopers. Cause you know we always have them. We'll see you on the next video guys. Peace out Maya. Is that a real rooster? You like the roosters? You're like, I don't care mom. <laughs> I like to go. Joel thinks that this is the low rent district that's across here on this island. Yeah, they're in the island of misfits. Huh? <laughs> we found another speck of grass. And there's a tired puppy. Somebody's tired. Yeah, someone's definitely tired from Key West.
Thanks for coming along on our journey to be chasing our sunshine. Remember, life is about moments and not things, and you can always create your own sunshine and find us chasing it in our RV.